Hey guys, Gizmodict here and this is the OnePlus 3 Pixel Edition. So basically in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the Google Pixel experience on your OnePlus 3 including things like the Pixel Launcher and the Google Assistant. There are a few prerequisites before you start this method which are number 1, your OnePlus 3 should have an unlocked bootloader and it should have a custom recovery like TWRP installed. If you haven't already done this then I'll drop a link in the video's description which you guys can refer to and unlock the bootloader of your phone. So now we need to download a few things which we would be installing on the OnePlus 3. First you need to download the CM14.1 based ROM. I would recommend the Resurrection Remix ROM and I'm personally using it on my OnePlus 3. I will also give you a brief review about this ROM at a later part in the video. After the ROM, you need to download the Google Apps package from the link that's given in the video's description. Make sure that you download according to your ROM's version and you need to download the Nano package. Don't download anything else apart from the Nano package. Finally, you need to download the SuperSU zip file and the Aroma zip file which give us the Google Pixel features. Once you have downloaded all of these files, back up your phone and boot your phone into the recovery mode to install the zip files. Now install the ROM followed by the Google Apps package. Once that is done, install the SuperSU zip file and after that install the Aroma zip file. Now you will be greeted with the Aroma installer. Keep clicking next and you have to deselect all of the options from the first menu. Otherwise it might cause some errors. Choose the options as given on the screen right now and then click on install. Once that is done, reboot your phone. Since this is the first boot, it is going to take a while so you need to be very patient. Once you set up the phone, you will be greeted with the Google Pixel Launcher and the Google Assistant. To enable the Google Assistant, go to Settings, click on Configuration, swipe across until you reach the Buttons tab and there you need to select the Hardware Keys option. Your Set the Home button long press action to Google Now on tap and now you should have the Google Assistant working for you. The OK Google hot word is not working but you can enable it by downloading this app called Chop Assistant. OK Google. What's up? Just having some holiday fun. I'm collecting Kwanzaa and Hanukkah facts and laughing at some of Santa's jokes. What's the weather like? In Mumbai it's 29 with smoke. Today it'll be sunny with a forecasted high of 34 and a low of 21. So now we have all of the Google Pixel features, right? I don't think so because we still need to enable the Google Pixel icons and for that you need to download the Nova Launcher Prime. You can download the free app but I would prefer the Prime version. You also need to download a Pixel icon pack and my choice is the Pixel IP icon pack. Once you have downloaded all of these, you need to do a few changes which I am showing on the screen right now. Apply the Pixel icon pack change the icon sizes to 120 and also change the look of the Google search bar. Now we have our OnePlus 3 Pixel Edition ready. Coming to the ROM itself, the Resurrection Remix ROM is based on Android 7.1.1 Nougat, so you do get the latest version of Android on your OnePlus 3. The experience on this ROM has been really really smooth. The phone glides through all of the apps very swiftly and it's a buttery smooth experience using Android 7.1 on the OnePlus 3. The Resurrection Remix ROM offers quite a bit of customization in the settings and you do get all of the Android N features like multi-window along with things like double tap to wake, double tap to sleep, gestures and so on. This ROM also supports dash charging and the substratum theme engine. The theme engine allows you to install a lot of themes and customize your OnePlus 3. The only thing which I did not like about this ROM is the fingerprint sensor which can be tricky at times. And the camera performance is also slightly affected. But I'm pretty sure that this will be fixed with the future updates and overall I'm really enjoying using my OnePlus 3 Pixel Edition. That was my quick video about how to get the Google Pixel features on your OnePlus 3. All the necessary links are given in the video's description. Please like the video if you liked it and for more such content please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.